so yeah, carrying on, um, I'm sorry, but my video got cut off for some reason, so this is the second video. And I was always saying I have a lifestyle diet science diploma. And I was talking to people about taking, you know, lots of precautions to quarantine and all that stuff. You know, we need to quarantine and make sure that two months, like a month, even after that you're sick, you gotta stay away. <laughs> because that, everything that you've been coughing, everything that you have been, you know, using, it's gonna be covering that virus. And just because you are better doesn't mean somebody that doesn't have it yet could get it. Um, because like I said, 17 days they found droplets of the virus on a boat, um, a ship, and uh, yeah, it can still sur survive. Maybe, you know what, and about that, some people would say, yeah, that's not possible, but even though if the media says it, you gotta take a precaution, even though Scientifically, it may not be feasible for that virus. It may not be possibly true. But this did come from a lab in Wuhan. As I've said, reporters have even asked the president about that. The president confirmed, yeah, this came from Wuhan. Um, a lab, somebody went to a wet market. So it was made in a lab. And uh, for that reason, it can survive maybe 17 days if it was made artificially. I don't know. Maybe it was a test. It was coronavirus. So it can last that long. And you need to know that uh, <clears throat> four days, I've read four days is the onset for this virus. So if this virus, <clears throat> it has entered your bloodstream <clears throat> your body, whatever. You have four days to feel the effects of this compared to three days for like a regular illness. It can be up to eight days, I think. Eight days, 14 days. 14 days even. It can take up to 14 days just for you. <clears throat> Sorry. My apologies, I'm tired. <laughs> it can take 14 days for you to have this virus take an onset and uh, to start, you know, moving around there. And uh, yeah, four days is usually the normal time, but 14 days is the max they can possibly take. And even then, you're going to be sick for a while. Because this, this recurs, this has like HIV in its structure. It has many things that uh, are indicia that it was made in a lab. So <laughs> you need to know to stay away from somebody that has this. And uh, Stay away from stores. Don't take your pets to walk in front of a CVS or whatever. Like people in my community do. I've seen people taking pets to walk in front of a CVS pharmacy right now. <laughs> so don't do that. You don't want to do that. That's really, really bad. Um, you know, at least get your pets booties, something that they can wear. Uh, and... Uh, Wipe their feet. Um, if you ever run out of hand sanitizer or anything, well, not hand sanitizer. You cannot substitute hand sanitizer, really. It's not the best. You want to wash your hands. You will always want to wash your hands with soap and water. Hand sanitizer, I would never use it. It is rarely to be used. 
you should use it only if you have nothing else left. And if you don't have Clorox wipes, use really hot water to clean surfaces. Not yourself, but surfaces, okay? You don't want to burn yourself. And uh, depends on the surface, make sure it's not plastic. Don't put it on plastic, but put it on like metal stuff. And then wait for it to cool down again. For like, you don't want to put hot water and stuff for like 20, 30 seconds, run it under hot water for 30 seconds and stuff like that. Those are things that you can think about can do your own research on um, alcohol 30 seconds for some surfaces and then wipe it with water because you don't want to irritate your skin and stuff like that but um, yeah that is that is pretty much what you can do if you're stuck with very very limited resources you don't have toilet paper you can use tissue people uh, Kleenex tissue paper that uh, buckles and stuff like if you do not have toilet paper it can go down some toilets uh, <laughs> just as good uh, you can use napkins instead of paper towels to not run out You can also you know uh, look online if you still have time but I doubt you're gonna find anything none of these stores are gonna have anything so you're best off probably doing what I've told you there. Um, like I said, this virus can last up to 14, 17 days on, on some surfaces there. And, uh, yeah, uh, you might run out of water because they are cutting off the food supplies and stuff like that. You might get a point where you have to use rain and water. And I'm serious, I'm the first person that's going to tell you this, but you're probably going to have to use rain and water. <laughs> and you're going to have to boil it or filter it with a filter. Somehow, a water filter. And because uh, there's just lots of pollen, some people will have allergies. Uh, but yeah, that's how bad it's going to get. And, um, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be cool. <laughs> you're going to get to a point where you're going to get upset. And, uh, yeah. I wanted to make some jokes for you and make some vlogs. About funny stuff, but like I, as you can see, I'm tired. I have not gotten much rest lately. It's very difficult for me to do so when I am in quarantine here, not for being sick, but for being in quarantine. And um, yeah, I'm just tired, guys. This is difficult. I I'm waiting to get back to Monday, back to some business and stuff, because I, I, I still do stuff with my LLC company, and um, hopefully I will get there, and I will be con able to continue to work. But yes, my name is Alltech Freelance, and that is it. That is my vlog for today.